So I want to take a few minutes to introduce you to our C4 synth. And I'll be honest, this is a pedal that we were, you know, a little nervous about releasing. Uh, we weren't really sure how people were going to react to a guitar, bass, synthesizer pedal with as many options as are in the C4. Uh, but we have been blown away by the reaction to it. Just tons and tons of musicians have taken this musical tool and really ran with it. You know, the last time I looked, uh, there were well over a thousand published C4 presets in the Neuro Desktop Editor, with more being published every day. So we like to call the C4 the modular synth in a box because it basically has all the essential editing tools that you would find in a vintage Eurorack analog modular synthesizer. Uh, this pedal was originally the dream of our chief scientist of sound, Bob Chidlaw. You know, he was inspired by his modular synth obsession and set out to put all the powers of his home modular synth rig into an effects pedal that could easily fit onto any pedal board. So on the surface of the C4 synth, we've got some pretty standard controls. This center toggle switch selects between six different uh, synthesizer effects. There's also some uh, octave effects and pitch shifting effects in there. For the knobs, we've got the input control, uh, which also doubles as a sensitivity control. There is a mix and output volume, and there is control one and control two, which uh, vary depending on what uh, effect you've chosen. But where the real power of this pedal resides is in the Neuro Desktop Editor. That's where you can create presets, uh, download presets created by other people. Uh, it's just a super powerful tool. And it's a free download for Mac or Windows desktops or Apple and Android mobile devices. So let's take a look at that. So here it is. This is the interface for the Neuro Desktop Editor. And the first thing you see, it's got four different voices. Each is represented by these blue boxes. In each box, you can pick what type of source you want to use. You can choose between a straight signal that runs into uh, you know, the distortion and the filters. Uh, we've got a couple of different types of pitch shifters. Or you can pick one of the C4's pure monophonic synthesizer oscillators uh, with either square, saw, or sine wave shapes. And you can pick a different source for each of the four voices and then mix them together for a limitless number of sound options. You can then run these four voices through any of the pedal's many uh, distortion and filter effects. You can see the C4 has 28 different kinds of filters. Uh, so that's a lot of sound options. You can control the attack and decay of each voice as well as the filter modulation with one of its 12 different envelopes. You can also control filter and amplitude modulation with one of 14 different LFO wave shapes. Uh, and moving down, we've also got two 16-step sequencers that are super easy to program. There is some intelligent harmonization, uh, external expression control, and a whole lot more. Now, this whole thing may look and sound a little intimidating, but don't be intimidated because you can very easily go over here into the cloud and into the community tab and check out the C4's massive library of presets already created by experienced C4 users. Just uh, scroll through this and click on any preset you want to check out and it will instantly upload to your pedal. When you find something you like, just go back to the device and save it to one of the pedal's six toggle switch positions or any of its 128 MIDI accessible preset positions. It's super easy. So how about we check out some of the presets and the sounds that this pedal can create? Uh, like I said before, the C4 comes loaded with six different sounds, but today let's go into the editor and hear the sounds that people have created. So you can either sort presets by the date or you can sort by popularity and see which presets have the most likes and downloads. This first one I'm going to show you was created by our old friend and bass player uh, extraordinaire Nathan Navarro. Nathan has created a ton of excellent sounds. And this one is going for the synth sound on Daft Punk's song, The Funk. Uh, I just love the savage growl of this preset. Wow. 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 
So how about we break this sound down? Uh, just to give you an idea of how you might go about building a preset. So you can see it is built on one square wave oscillator here in voice two and two saw waves in voices three and four. But let's hear them uh, one by one. Voice four provides an octave up. Now let's add voice three uh, for an octave down saw wave. And finally, voice two completes the preset and gives us the fifth. Now let's check out a couple of sounds from one of my favorite preset creators, the hook. Uh, the Hook is a master of just creating deep and rich sounding monophonic synth sounds. This first one is called Are You FMing Serious? Uh, that name was inspired by the FM synthesis that is applied to the sine wave oscillators in voices one and two of this preset. This is a very nice expressive one called Organic Funk. This next preset gets into the C4's intelligent harmonization. This preset is called C7 chords, and it was created by our friend Do Noise. This one allows you to play full 7th chords in the key of C by only playing one note at a time. I'm actually going to add a little bit of chorus to this preset with our Gemini chorus just because I love the way it sounds. Now the key to this sound is its use of the harmony module down here. You can see that voices one and two are set to interval plus harmony. These voices are handling the third and the seventh of the chord. So with intelligent harmonization, these notes always adhere to whatever key and scale you've selected down here in the harmony module. All right, now let's get into the sequencer. Uh, I love the sequencer. Basically, you just grab these sliders to set up uh, whatever note pattern you want to program. Uh, the sequencer is nice because you, you barely need to know how to play the guitar, you know, which can be helpful, especially for a guy like me. Uh, so here are a couple of fun ones. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, the pure synth oscillators in the C4 are monophonic, meaning that you can only play one note at a time. But there are some polyphonic pitch shifting options that can be used to great effect. Uh, this preset uses the polyphonic pitch shifter set to a fifth, 
and runs it through a filter that is being modulated by a triangle LFO. And here is one final preset from Annette. Uh, I love this one. It's got a super vowel-y sounding low pass filter with two additional peaks. Uh, uh, this preset is called Pony and it was inspired by the genuine track of the same name. Okay, so I could go on and on all day about this pedal, but I'm going to end it here. If you want more information on the C4, go to our website, sourceaudio.net, and thanks for listening. Goodbye.